Well, it's raining outside. Just heard, heard some thunder. Not a lot I can do working outside, so I'm trying to do some inside work. But anyway, hope everybody's doing good. If I can spit that out after I took my banana strawberry drink. Smoothie. Just trying to make it smooth. There's no alcohol or nothing in it. Strawberry. I don't know, three or four stra strawberries. And a uh, banana. Anyway, I threw a little molasses in there. Some ice and blended it up in the Ninja. Anyway, it's kind of what it is. Rain outside. Got a bunch of boats out there, but it can't do nothing. Not really. And I'm waiting on parts, so. Anyway, I thought, well, let's see. Anyway, I thought, well, what do I do? Well, I guess this should be part of the, I don't know, 20 or 30 horsepower. I guess it's out. Uh, what we're talking about is recoil starters. So I got a 20 horsepower out there. I got one we're working on, but I got one that guy just brought me. Same year, mid-70s. And they put recoil starters on the 20s and the 35s and uh, 15s, 7.5s, what else, 6 maybe? I think it was 7.5, might have been a 10 horsepower, 15, 20, 35 horsepower. I think that's it. Some of them had starters, electric starters. We noticed right here, there's a place where electric starter would have went. So I got a bunch of these. And it, the, uh, yeah, I guess the reason why I'm talking about it is because when you pull these off, I showed this trick before. Well, when you pull these out of here and you pull the starter rope out, they have a little handle. They usually got to pry that little aluminum piece up out of there and then the, the little plastic handle, it comes down and then you pry the rope out of there. And then you pull this off. And I was out there holding it. Because you got to take the top cowl off to get this off. And uh, or to get underneath that top cowling. Well, you got to hold the recoil you know, rope. And if you let go of it, it's going to go back up inside here. So yeah, I did that. I made that mistake. And I kept saying, don't let it, don't let it go down of there, don't let it go out of there. And then, like, my cowling, I, I don't know what happened, but I let go of it. And it went, all the way back up inside. Ah, uh, well, now what do you do? Well, you gotta fix it. So, after much frustration of me trying to fix that and looking at the diagram of the book it's confusing and I don't know I mean I put them back together before but that one was like crazy I could figure out couldn't figure it out so I got a I got what do I have? I got 35. I got two 20s. I got a couple more of these cowlings. So I got a bunch of parts. 
So here's one. And this one, the rope is kind of a little funky right there. Which, so I think I looked at this one and said, well, I don't know. And I got a bunch of parts to this. And this one had the electric starter location. So I thought, well, what the heck, man. I'll rebuild one of them. So then when it's time for the electric starter deal, then I can just put that back together. But all this stuff is super dirty. So I made a little tub. And I got, you know, I got a couple of these. All right, one shorter. One's taller. So, and then... This is kind of a nylon bushing. I don't know if it's copper or not, but I think it's nylon. Yeah, it'd probably be all right to throw in there, but it goes kind of down around this. And there's a bushing. There's usually a nut, so I got at least one nut. There's a wavy washer, got one of them. And I got a washer. This is where the little, these little guys go kind of like this. All right. I'm going to throw all this stuff in there because I'm going to just, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to parts wash it. So we got these Some wavy washers. Should have three of those. Two, three, yeah, three of these, three of those wavy washers. There's another one of those. I might as well clean it. There's where the spring, it holds the spring. I don't know, I might as well throw that in there. I got another little bushing. That should go in there. There's I think I got it in here. You got to have that bushing or whatever they want to call it. Then on the recoil starter, you got these pins, but on this one, I don't think they come out. So may I just clean that up? I'm not going to use this one anyway. I'm going to use this one. Ah, so might as well take the pins off. I'm going to throw all these parts in a washer. There's another one of these. Then I will grease really on there. So this is a wavy washer. Might as well take it off so I will lose it. Some of these I just threw on the ground. And then once I did that, then I was like, wait a minute. So these got a lot of little parts. Anyway, this cable is really good. So I think this is the one maybe you want to try to clean up some. Yeah, the spring looks all right. Just needs a good cleaning though. Uh, and then this kind of the same deal. I got a couple of these cowlings, but since I'm just doing one, I'm gonna clean that guy up. Maybe that's a good thing while it's raining. I'll just take out there and soap it down good. But I'll show you how it all goes back together. Cause it's kind of tricky. It'll kind of throw you. Now, I started looking, and I have no idea what I've done with the handles. So this is off of that 35. I just tied a knot in this. There's nothing wrong with this one. So when these, when these engage, these little things right here will come out. That's what catches your flywheel. See how they're engaged now? you see that? 
Here we are. See how these come out? That's the way it engages to your flywheel. They just kind of ride back and forth on that. See how they just pop up in and out? And, uh, and then how you get tension is we gotta have a locking tab. That's the one thing in here I noticed we didn't have a locking tab. So I'm missing a locking tab. So that this one's good though. I'm gonna mess with that. So somewhere is the handles on the locking tabs. I'm gonna have to find those. Because this is not, it won't work unless you got that locking tab. Uh, I guess, let me show you again. These won't work without that locking tab. Lock nut, that's where you put your screwdriver so you kind of get tension on a little bit. You turn this middle, and that's what gives it its tension. So I don't I don't know maybe they're in the lower shed I can't remember I can't imagine I would have put them down there but I don't know what to do with them man I just throw that all at a in a thing I need to look and make sure this yeah this one's got the bushing since this I want it to fall out lose it might as well take it out throw it in there so that's kind of what i'm doing today i guess but first i'm gonna have to clean up some parts all right let me see if i got some Some pine saw to fire up my ultrasonic cleaner. Might as well put some hot water in it. I got another tub that's a carburetor that needs to be cleaned too. So I guess I might as well try to knock both of them out. Since I really can't do anything. Since I really can't do anything. Anyway, thanks for subscribing. Keep liking and comment and love it man thank you i 